1939, Lintel, an illustrated children's book named after its main character, was published by a 25-year-old graduate of the Vesper George Art School in Boston. Lintel is the story of a boy who can't sing, but whose skill with the harmonica saves the day in the fictional town of Alto, Ohio. Although Alto is a fictional town, many people who lived in Hamilton, Ohio, couldn't help but notice the similarities because Robert McCloskey had already made his mark there. McCluskey was born September 15, 1914 in Hamilton. By the time he was in high school, he was already well regarded as an artist and provided illustrations for several school publications. He received his first commission at the YMCA Camp Campbell Guard outside New Miami. He was a young student uh, in high school, uh, spent a lot of time here at camp. He was a counselor here at camp and uh, uh, the camp director recognized his abilities to do things, to art abilities, and he asked him, he said, would you, would you ever consider you know, carving a totem pole? And he said, uh, never done it, I don't know. For the next 60 years, the totem pole became a common meeting spot for campers. But deterioration of the wood required that it be removed. Some of the rotting parts had been filled in with concrete and it had been repainted somewhere along the way. We've been to three uh, pretty much nationally known conservators uh, and the thinking is let's do not try to restore it to its grandeur because it wouldn't look right but the best thing to do would be to preserve it as it is. It still has a good bit of color and uh, 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 then display it as it is today but preserved so that it will not deteriorate anymore. The carving of the totem pole elevated McCloskey's standing as an area artist, even at such a young age, and was a factor in his being awarded a second commission, likely to be his most enduring legacy in Hamilton, the design of the bas-relief stone carvings on the municipal building, now the site of Heritage Hall and the Robert McCloskey Museum. Circular panels around the high street entrance represent various industries and arts. Rectangular panels above the high street and Monument Avenue entrances depict scenes of early transportation, aggressiveness of the white settlers, retreat of the Indians, and architecture, pioneer and modern. After studying in Boston and New York, McCloskey settled in Maine, which became the setting for his later books such as Blueberries for Sal. But his youthful days in Hamilton are forever reflected in Homer Price and Centerburg Tales, as well as Lintel, which is honored now with a bronze statue by Nancy Schoen in a small park in the same block as Heritage Hall. One of the main attractions at the museum is on the second floor, a souvenir from a film version of Homer Price, another McCloskey book inspired by his youth in Hamilton, Ohio. There uh, was a company in Weston, Connecticut uh, which was called Weston Woods and a fellow by the name of Morton Schindel developed and grew that business. His interest was in making film productions of children's book authors. When they produced the film Homer Price he was able to come up with two uh, Donut Corporation of America Donuts which dates back to the Depression era and uh, um, to use in the film. He very kindly gave us, donated to our museum, one of the donut machines, which we totally refurbished. Every aspect, with the exception of the heaters on the machine, is now operation. You, you take the lid off, you put the batter in, you put a top over top of the batter, you close it back up, and this little machine around inside the there has its own compressor. And it actually is compressing air. Uh, it goes from there into the holding tank, and from there it comes up to go over to this. And if I open this up, you'll see It actually compresses air. <laughs> now, I don't want to overdo it because the machine's old. 
but it, it still works.